Good day, explorers. Mr. Reinhardt here again with story time. And keeping in our holiday theme, this is a book called The Gingerbread Kid Goes to School by Joan Hullab, illustrated by Debbie Palin. Oh, and we have a special surprise book after this one, but I can't tell you. One day, the principal baked a gingerbread kid. He took it in his lunchbox. Oh no, something was missing. The principal put on two candy eyes. Suddenly, the gingerbread kid winked. He did a flip off the desk. He did a cartwheel on the floor. Then he ran away. Come back, shouted the principal. The principal ran after the gingerbread kid. The gingerbread kid laughed and shouted, I'm the gingerbread kid. I'm as fast as can be. I can run, 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 but you can't catch me. The gingerbread kid ran to the playground. He kicked the ball over the fence. Come back, shouted two gym coaches. Then they ran after him. I'm the gingerbread kid. Haha, first the gingerbread kid laughed and shouted. I'm the gingerbread kid. I'm as fast as can be. You can run, 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 but you can't catch me. The gingerbread kid ran into the lunchroom. It's kind of a bad place for a cookie to go, isn't it? <laughs> He hopped in the beans and the rice. Come back, shouted the three lunch ladies. They dropped their spoons and ran after him. The gingerbread kid laughed and shouted, I am the gingerbread kid. I'm as fast as can be. You can run, 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 but you can't catch me. The gingerbread kid ran by four teachers in the hall. He spilled their jars of paint. Come back, they shouted. Then they ran after him. The gingerbread kid laughed and shouted, I'm the gingerbread kid. I'm as fast as can be. You can run, 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 but you can't catch me. The gingerbread kid ran into the library. He jumped on a boy's desk. Chase me, said the gingerbread kid. The boy kept reading. Chase me, shouted the gingerbread kid. The boy shook his head. What kind of kid wants to read, asked the gingerbread kid. A smart kid, said the boy. Not as smart as me, said the gingerbread kid. I ran away from the principal, two gym coaches, three lunch ladies, and four teachers. I can run away from you, too. No, you can't, said the boy. Here are five reasons why. The boy made a fist. One by one, he held up his fingers. One, two, three, four... Five. Then he grabbed the gingerbread kid. Gotcha, the boy said. Like magic, the gingerbread kid turned into a cookie again. Suddenly, everyone ran into the library. The four teachers bumped into the three lunch ladies. The three lunch ladies bumped into the two gym coaches. And the two gym coaches bumped into the principal. And the principal bumped into the boy. The gingerbread kid cookie went right out the window. And right outside, the smart boy, smart dog was waiting. Jump, jump. Ooh, that was quite an ending for the gingerbread kid there, wasn't it? Does it always end with the gingerbread That's a good question. The gingerbread kid goes to school by Joanne Hullub, 
illustrated by Debbie Palin. Hope you enjoyed that, but I have a special treat for you now. This is a book written by my son Chuck. This was a school project for his second grade done on storyjumper.com where they can make their own book. Now my son Chuck loves ceiling fans and he found a cartoon, he also loves tornado sirens, and he found a cartoon of tornado sirens, believe it or not, on YouTube, but they seem to fight and not get along very well a lot. So he said, well, I'm gonna start my own series called Ceiling Fan Kindness, and it's about ceiling fans that are all friends and from different houses, and they go on adventures together, and yeah, these ceiling fans can actually walk and talk. And this is the very first book in the series, and this is called The Light by Chuck Reinhardt. Chapter 1, The Light One day in a big house, two ceiling fans were talking. One of the fans is Tiffany, the other is Delta. Excuse me, Tiffany, I need to use the bathroom, said Delta. When Delta returned, he saw Tiffany looking at a strange light outside the window. What is it? asked Delta. Tiffany replied, I'm not sure. It looks like a flashlight, said Delta. Let's go look, said Tiffany. As they got closer, a high-pitched, calm voice said, Help! I'm lost! Who are you? asked Delta. My name is Lakeside, replied the lost fan. Her action is nervous. In other words, she was acting nervous. Chapter 3, The Ending Then they invited her over as a guest to the brick house. The End See, very short story, but it's about a ceiling fan that got lost and met two other ceiling fans, and they invited that lost ceiling fan over as friends. It's a good story of friendship, Chuck. Nice job. Thanks. And also, soon there's going to be a YouTube series, so wait for that to come out. All right. Well, there you have it. The book is going to become a movie series, <coughs> cartoon series on, t on YouTube. That is The Light by Chuck Reinhardt, and again... The Gingerbread Kid Goes to School by Joan Hubble, or, yeah, Holub, <laughs> sorry, illustrated by Debbie Palin. Hope you had fun with those today, kids. I had a lot of fun reading those to you. Until next time, this is Mr. Reinhardt saying have a great day.